Welcome back to Ask Nikki P. I'm going to jump right in. Hey Nikki, I'm 22 and my boyfriend and I have been together for four years. We love each other and have talked about marriage someday. We've been going through a season or a rut for quite a while now and although it's had it has its shining moments, it has been difficult to pull ourselves out of it. What should we do when you know it's not just a season but maybe the end of a relationship? I don't want it to be, but I'm scared it may be. Thanks for all your help. Okay. Once again, it's hard to tell because I don't know, like, the details of what's going on. I'm not in your relationship. But, ooh, I'm burping. Cute. Ooh, sorry. But I would say, I've given this advice to friends before. I would say that you should sit down and you should list all the pros and the cons about the person that you're with, all of the things that you love about him that he has that you're just ecstatic about, and then all the things that are cons and make it very black and white. Don't let it be like feely, like airy fairy, like the way that I feel when he hugs me. It's like, man, a lot of people can give you feelings when you hug them. Um, but concrete things like I like that he is a truth teller. And, and be really honest. Like, he tells the truth. Like, if you know he's a really truthful person, that goes there. You know? Or, like, I like that he treats his mom really, really well with respect. Or I like that he has the same beliefs as me. Or just things that you know are factual, not like, like, he makes me smile. Like, that's that's good. But a lot of people can make you smile. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not invalidating that because that's a really good thing. And if someone can make you laugh, that is a positive thing. And I guess that is factual if someone can make you laugh. But just make sure they're concrete as well as with the cons. Like, I don't like that he gets jealous, that he, you know, is constantly checking up on who I'm with or whatever. I would lay those out side by side. And, you know, that can a lot of times help you sort your feelings out, having things listed out factually versus just like how they feel. You know what I mean? Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is if it is coming to an end, you have to know like a, you're young B that's kind of the point of dating is to find out what you want in someone and what you don't want in someone. And this might be the end. And that would be hard. Of course you spent four years with him, but like I said, I really think that that's the point of dating and if it is supposed to be over you know that's gonna be difficult but don't feel bad like you did something wrong because that's kind of just dating for you but that being said I would recommend doing the pros and cons and also asking yourself if you're just I talked about this in another episode but like if you're just maybe comfortable right now and if maybe you guys just need to add some like excitement back in your relationship and go out and do stuff or if you need some more romance back in your relationship but sometimes that can cause you to feel a little like bleh too just because you're like Ugh, this isn't exciting anymore this just feels kind of like blah and yeah and communicate so I don't really have like a clear answer I feel like a lot of times I don't really have like super like thorough answers because I'm not in your guys's shoes but I guess that would be like the little bit of direction I would give you um as always guys let us know in the comment section like your thoughts, if you have had a different experience or whatever, um, because I think it's important to hear everybody's opinions. But bottom line is, if you end up after all of this feeling like you have to walk away and like it's done, don't feel bad about that because you're young and that's the point of dating. So um, yeah, With that being said, I'm going to jump into today's Twitter question. So it says, hey Nikki, what is your favorite daytime talk show? Okay, I don't really watch daytime talk shows, but the ones that I have seen episodes of, I never see them in the day. I see them during, like, reruns. But I like two things. I like Dr. Phil in terms of TV. Okay, he's pretty interesting. And this is on the radio, but I love Dr. Laura. I think she's really, really interesting. I like that she's very, like, cut and dry. And to those of you that don't know who Dr. Laura is, a lot of people really hate her as well because she's very, like, boom. But I actually really like her. And she was a, she's a psychologist that had, used to have a radio show. She got kicked off the radio for doing some controversial stuff. And now she is on Sirius XM. So, um, I listen to her on Sirius XM. I find her really interesting, very cut and dry, if that's the right terminology. And, like, no BS kind of psychologist. And, yeah. So, there's that. I'm not really a daytime talk show person, but those are what I like. 
So send your messages, questions, all that jazz to askneekyp at gmail.com or use the hashtag on Twitter, askneekyp, and I will see you all very soon. I hope you have a really good rest of the day, and yeah, bye guys. I'm wondering if what you're feeling is a lack of chase and a lack of romance.